Hey guys, Rockstar Game Extreme here, and welcome back to Let's Play Toy Story. We're at part two. So in the last episode, we just did a few levels, and that's it. Big deal. You want to know more? Want to fight about it? No, I'm just kidding. So I think we did like, let's see here, four levels. Yeah, there's the intro level, then the put away the toys, ego check, and then the toys raging on us. I forgot to mention, the music in this game is just awesome. I mean, you might disagree, but... So let's... I decided from now on, I'm just gonna read the story, and then, you know, dumb it down what the instructions say, you know? So, for instance... Alright, what he did to Buzz, he could try and do to any of us next! Another toy... Another, another toy gets too much attention, and it's out the window! We've got to stop him, says Mr. Potato Head. Look, there he is with Rex. Let's get him, says a toy. Oh, how I hate confrontations. Frank, says Rex, frankly, I don't know what to make all of this, but you helped me through the bedroom, so hop on and let's get out of here. Yeah, not really part of the, you know, story, but I like, I like, I like contrast, so it's simple. Right on Rex, don't get yourself killed. This game, I mean, level, is definitely one of my favorites. You gotta love this. Yeehaw! Not sure that accurately represented how I wanted to do it. Even more like, Yeehaw! You know what, I'm just gonna stop trying to make funny noises, because they seem to be failing. Oh shit, RC car. So when you see that thing, you want to jump right over it. Easier said than done. And I remember the, the um the other versions being harder because you only get one checkpoint. I'm not sure. I kind of forgot whether I forgot I forgot how many checkpoints you get in this level particularly. But if you, but if you just stick with it, it's not that bad really. Checkpoint. And I don't really need to explain what everybody's doing. I don't even know what to comment on for this LP. Ow, I just died, bastard. Well, crap. I'm kind of wondering if I should cut down the cussing in my LPs, you know, just because... I kind of want to sound a little bit, you know, more professional and... I don't really want to sound professional, I just, you know, don't want to sound too immature when I'm LP and stuff, you know. Like, I don't want to be saying, like, fuck, 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 you know, like, throughout the whole LP, you know. Because that would just be, like, plain annoying, you know, it, it would get pretty old. Watch out for the RC car coming. Whoa! Ow. So, yeah, Arcee's really the only big problem in this, because he tends to combine himself with other obstacles, which makes it a little harder to jump over him. Not really a big deal, but it is. Usually, I, I get through this level without too much problem. And yay, we're done with the level, yay. And we got... 91 stars, I think. So, Buzz and Woody fight at the gas station, finished just in time to see Andy and his mom driving off to Pizza Planet. I'm a lost toy, cries Woody. But then, a truck arrives that could take them to Pizza Planet. Quickly, they hop aboard. And, ironically, on the other versions, you actually have to fight Buzz. It's kind of funny. Woody and Buzz arrive at Pizza Planet, but find the entrance closely watched. How can we get inside? Wonders Boss. I mean Buzz, not Boss. <laughs> Until he spots Woody with a mega gold cup on his head. Sheriff, I 
like the way you think. Yeah, you do like the way I think, don't you? Alright, so, it's pretty obvious what you gotta do here. So, see this food falling? You just, you just wanna, um, not take it too fast for this level, and, um, just let the food fall. And if you, and you've got Buzz behind you, just, you know, if, if he bumps into you, you lose a hit point, so, if you need, if you need to wait, um, just duck down so that Buzz will kind of get the hint and not, you know, run into you like some, some Space Ranger jackass, you know? So, whoa, whoa, almost got French fry, no pun intended there. I was trying to say, I almost got hit by french fries, but wanted to be creative. Alright, whoa. And these things, obviously, they let out cans. They're not too bad if you know what you're doing. As you can see, I'm kind of speeding through this level a little bit. mainly because I've been through this level like millions of times, you know, so I have every right to speed through it. Okay, so you see that, um, that paper airplane? You want to watch out for that. Okay, I was a little sloppy on the timing there. Yeah, I pretty much just pounded the down keys to get there, just to dodge that thing. That's funny. So here's the funny thing, in the other versions, when, when the planes fly by, they're actually, um, ow, that was not good on my part. So let's get this checkpoint, just in case I was a life. But in the other version, when the, when the plane flies down, right after it flies down, there's, um, in the other versions, after the plane flies by, a kid will start walking by. So, you want to duck immediately. So, quite obviously, the other versions are not very forgiving if you, if you don't pay attention. I mean, neither is this one, though, because, like, you'll see the, you'll see the plane swoop down. Well, it'll, you'll see it fly by, but you'll have, like, no idea when it comes. Like that. Yeah, fuck you, paper airplane. It looks like... It kind of looks like a, you know, flying alien saucer. You know, like, not really a, a UFO kind of deal, but... I always thought it was some alien space, you know, plane. <laughs> chasing after you since, you know, it flies every direction. No! Buzz, don't hit me! Ow. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if Buzz didn't hit me, because... That stupid can ended up hitting me anyway, so... Yeah, I swear, some of the timing is just impossible on, on that part. So now we got over 100 stars! Complete that. But what he looks for. Andy. Buzz spots a claw machine. He mistakes it for a spaceship that can take him back to Sector 4 and jumps into it. You idiot. What are you knowing he can't face the other toys without Buzz? Dives into the machine after him. Buzz, where are you? So obviously. This. This level, I actually have a story about this level. Well, it's not really a story. It's just a level that I got stuck on for a while and didn't really know what to do. So it was like, duh. So what do you do in this level? And it, but it wasn't this part. I'll show you what part it is. So let's. This part right here because I don't 
know what, what it is. I just didn't understand that I was supposed to jump to that platform right there. So this might take a few attempts. Just warning you guys now. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Well, that wasn't even very effective, what I just did. I shouldn't even be concerning myself with the stars. I keep I keep saying, I'm not going to get the stars, yet I keep getting them. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Alright, so let's see here. Whoa! Oh, duh! How could I have been so stupid there? I'm supposed to use that last platform to jump up. Another derp moment for me. Alright, so jump here. Then jump high enough so that this platform... So I land on the platform. Even though this frame rate is a lot slower than the... Actually, I was supposed to wait. Holy crap, huh? I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do, to be honest. <laughs> It already took me a while just to figure out what to do on this part, like, what I do after here. You know, I didn't know I was supposed to jump onto that platform. Actually, here's what I didn't know. I didn't know that after I jump onto this... Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> this is gonna be quite a show. This is probably gonna be the last level for this part, just as a guess since I'm taking forever to get on this platform. I didn't know you're supposed to jump from here and then land on this platform so, so that it would take you up. Yeah, I was totally unaware of that. Okay, well, what, do you, what do you know? I finally made it up here. Get up to here. No real point in going up here. But I, I went up here anyways. Actually, I guess there is a point. You kind of need... I keep thinking that I can make certain jumps when, I'm, when I forget that, you know, because of the slower frame rate, I just can't. Get out of there. Whoa. I almost made it there. Oh well. Oh, I missed. So yeah, I'm gonna just wrap this level I might go a little over it, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my videos to, like, 15 minutes, you know, like... Just, you know, so that, like... Well, I don't know. It's just, you know, after 15 minutes, you know... You kind of don't want to, like, see any more of it, you know? <laughs> oh, come on. Really? I don't know, it's just, you, when it comes to making videos, you just don't want to make them too long, you know, like, like, there's this, um, channel called, like, Cubex, I think, that, like, makes these long plays, which are, like, 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 literally, these videos can be, like, three hours long sometimes, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, who, 
who seriously has the time to watch, you know, a video that's three hours long, you know, really? And that thing that you just saw, they are a hell of a lot more annoying in the other versions. As you can see, I'm just jumping, um, I'm, I, I, I keep jumping up for a reason because I want to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them to, you know, go off. But I'm also, you know, running away so that I don't get hit by them. I guess I'm being strategic about it, in a way. But the hit I take here is, is worth it because... This grants us another life, which we actually need. Well, we meaning me. Okay, so I don't think I need to explain that part. because there's just so much going on. I got rid of all those things. 
Well, the enemies didn't respawn. The obstacles, at least. They're not really enemies. So. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this level. Until then guys, this has been part 2 of Let's Play Toy Story. I'm not sure if this is going to even be 5 parts. I'll see you in the next part. Until then guys, peace.